Ooh, good morning. I'd like to start by saying welcome to Jay's Blind Demos. You know the score. This is this is the series where we play a game where I have little to no idea as to what the fuck the game is. So, completely blind, if you will. There is a there is a distinct lack of milk in the house. Cow or oat. So no coffee this morning, which means I'm gonna have to have an iron brew. And as tempting as it may be to instead pop open a can of iced coffee porter, half eight in the morning, probably a little bit too early to start drinking. So iron brew it is, which is not the best for breakfast, but it is what it is. This music's got, got me super chill, I don't know, so I'm speaking weird. It's fine, let's click the button. Let's see what the game's got for us. In fact, before we do that, I'd like to point out that I'm pretty sure there was a joke before I even fucking got into the game. Double clicking, or no, just starting it on Steam, and it pops up the little Unity pre-go menu, and you can choose what graphics uh, you can have there. Like, normally it goes up to, like, Ultra, but this one only had one entry, and it was lots of pixels. Pretty sure that's a joke. Okay, game time. Hi, this is a special gameplay demo made exclusively for the Steam Game Festival 2020 <laughs> to show some of the new visuals, mechanics and the overall feel of Port Valley at the time being. As such, this demo is, has simplified puzzles and a modified plot to make it work as a short playable experience by itself. Please don't expect too much from it. Well, I've heard that this goes on for like an hour in play, in, uh, for some people, so that's reasonable. It'll be one of our longer ones. I've also heard it's, a, heard it's a bit of a weird game. Different. But that's all I know. Right, Port Valley's election day. You're a lazy delivery guy making the last drop off of the day. But things have got complicated. Moments after a sudden explosion hit the town, you saw Mayor Candidate Devon Wright walking into a weird store. You decided to follow him. Well, of course, why wouldn't you? The clerk nervously told you that Wright went straight to the store's basement. You did so too. Because again, why wouldn't you? You found nothing there but a hole on the floor with an old rope ladder pointed by it. A weird yellow symbol. You decide to climb it down. Again, why wouldn't you? And so, this adventure continues. Super. Why is it so dark down here? Look, if this is another trick to avoid paying for designers, I'm done with this. Crap. Uh, he fell. Presumably. I think that's the joke. Ouch. Good, this is fine. Oh, mm, click, clicky red light. Right click red light to use red light. Ah, cool. What the hell? This must be Port Valley's old sewer system. Why would Devon come down here? Weird. They said it collapsed during the Port Rail incident. Music's quite fun. Very smooth animation. Cool, no more light from here on. I better get back to a place where I can see if I'm going to get stabbed. Yeah, good shout. Yeah, nice, nice fun music. Classic big uh, crosshair for the pointing. Nice, nice art. Very nice art. Uh, smooth animation, which is kind of jarring. Okay. That thing again. Hmm. These sewers are old as heck, yet the paint looks rather fresh. Can we hold it down? Don't think so, no. Double check. No. There is a bent rung here. Looks like they pulled the other ones out, but struggled with this one. Wow, they blocked off the access tunnel with a bunch of concrete. They didn't want this place to be found, not even by chance. Jeez. 
Jesus, this place has a serious matryoshka thing going on. I am unfamiliar with these words. This must have some kind of meaning. Yeah, props. Oh, probably have that. Metal ladder. Apart from a missing couple of rungs, it doesn't look that bad. Exit tunnel. Let's take that first. This is what they used to pull those rungs out. So much violence. Where are we heading as a society? Can we have it? Guess not. Yes, yeah, alright. Old rung. Do we have that one? Look at that. They didn't even bother to take all the rungs they pulled out. Amateurs. It's with the arrow on the crosshair there. Ah, right, okay. We didn't get to all this. We've got stuff here. Glass screw, bag with food order, wrench number C. Okay, so it's old school, so we got to go pick up. Hey, Crowbar, have you ever seen an apron from the inside? Hello. Oh, oh I've, I've triggered something not good here. Hey, what the... Are you guys crazy? Do we want to get sued by Valve this early? <laughs> right, that's what was happening there. It was a, it was a Half-Life joke. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so no, don't don't look at it. Please don't look at it. Pick up. Oh, come on. It's so lame when Adventure Games put the solution right in front of you. Well, you're the dickhead, aren't you? Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 wait. How do I even report this? Props don't, I imagine. Look, I'm not venturing into Smelly Unknown without at least a flashlight. Super. Okay. So, do we get? Are we gonna need like actually three? Because I'm pretty sure we could get one out from here. We'll get our crowbar. Yes. Or is it a drag and drop? Or is it? No, it's gonna be used with, right? Use crowbar with bent wrong. Well, here goes nothing. sideways. Not my worst attempts at home improvement. Can you can you get it? I'm not putting my hand in that. I'm not getting into that water. I heard a guy once swam here and came out with eleven toes. Or was it nine? Because I vaguely remember having problems with piranhas years ago. <laughs> yeah. Didn't they just throw a bunch of bears into the sewer to get rid of them? This is this is fine. Nah, that wouldn't make any sense. Probably just a dumb story to scare kids. Either way, I'm not touching that with my bare hands. Haha, <laughs> strong breeze. Right, okay, what have we got? What else have we got? Right, okay, a magnet. We're gonna make some sort of rudimentary fishing rod. We need some straight... The rope! The, the, Oh, I've clicked off the game. Didn't I do well? Right, yeah, the rope ladder, I'm thinking, in this situation. Just keep fucking clicking. As a cigarette goes out for the hundredth time. can't just break a rope with you. Just pull the fucking thing down. It doesn't exactly look like it's stuck well. Uh, use a piece of glass. Hmm, the rope is not very thick. I can give it a shot. Well, 
Look at that. Oops, the piece of glass is broke. Actually, maybe it wasn't a great idea to carry that thing in my pocket. Probably not, no. But it looks like you've got a piece of wood with some rope attached to it, so that's good. What did I just say? Did I say a rope with a piece of rope? It's too early. Anyway, a plank with a rope is what I've got here. So if we use that with that, we should have a magnetic fishing rod, right? Let's try. Perfect. Now kids, that's how I invented the famous fishing rod for push pins. Patent pending. Oh look, he fucking he goes for it if you double click. Go on lad. Oh, you don't have to carry on clicking either, he'll, he'll actually do a sprint. I mean, obviously he'll stop though, so that's not ideal. Anyway, use that with that and our survey set. Just for the record, I'm only doing this for the sake of science. Yay. Good things physics make absolutely no sense in this kind in these this kind of games. These. The word is these. It's fine. It is a demo. There's that bastard. Having fun, huh? Hey, why don't you give me that? Little bastard. Joke's on you, I know where you live. We need better nuclear bombs. Oh Jesus. Right, hold up. Let's, uh. What's wrong? Do I have to dry it out? Oh, good. We do only need one more. Because I only know where one other one is. And we're not going to get very far. Because of needing light. I was just dumped it. There you are. Okay, what have we got that I can fuck this cunt up with? Back with food order. Uh, deliver to Porti Viali. That's, that's a clever name, I think, I guess. Broadcast station, 4th floor studio, 2A. I won't get paid if I take too much longer. Right, well, good news, you're not going to, because you're going to use it on that, that thing. I'm not playing with the food. Oh, okay, fine. If I go over, he's just going to... Oh no. Oh Jesus. Snoproach. Well, I mean, I think we all know what game this is from, don't we? What will Cooper do? Um. I, I don't know. Apron? <laughs> Looking for useful combat items. Good. He found half cereal bar of a suspicious blue colour. Yes, use this. Cereal bar to the astonished snob roach. Snob roach sadly stared at the cereal bar, questioning Cooper's lifestyle. Ah, oh, I thought we might have nailed it straight away. Cooper's pride decreased. <coughs> but it can't go any lower. Oh, fucking hell. Snobroach gently threw the cane towards Cooper's direction. Cooper nimbly evaded the attack. This is fucking stupid. I'm not even a fan of Pokemon, but I've got, I've got, you're going to have to trust me. I've got a nice smile on my face right now. This is just stupid. In a good way. Oh, I fell down. But slipped and fell immediately after that. Cooper received 1 HP of damage. Side attack. 5 pp. I have 12 pp. Good focused and launched a powerful psychic attack. What is going on here? Snubber just had slightly moved. Because of the wind. <laughs> Cooper decided to ignore this. 
Snobber, she's still waiting for Cooper to do something this turn. Okay. Just attack. Cooper heroically threw a stone with all his might. Did he miss? Yeah, of course he did. But the attempt was not even remotely accurate. Cooper was affected by embarrassment. What? Snobbrook pretended to have been hit to make Cooper feel a little better. <laughs> but he felt worse. Snobbrook is overactively charging an attack so Cooper can have time to protect himself. But he is not paying any attention, wondering how much longer will this parody last. I am kind of wondering at this point. <sighs> Check the apron again. Cooper checked his apron again. He found something resembling a piece of bread. Yeah, use the bread. Cooper ate whatever that was. Cooper received 1 HP of damage. Great. Snobroach cancelled his special attack, knowing that there's no way Cooper would survive it. Snobroach called for help to handle the situation. Fantastic. Labrat joins the battle. Level 100 Labrat. 70's Labrat. Of course it's level 70. The situation is oddly getting out of control. Snobrot is, is carefully assessing the situation. Labrat is staring at you with true evil in his eyes. 70's Labrat is criticising contemporary music. Cooper decided to launch his ultimate attack. Cooper offered to betray the human race and help the weird animals conquer the world. He seems blindly loyal to the cause. Snobbrot and his cohort stared at each other concerned. They just wanted to hang out and maybe take your wallet. Wow, this is awkward. Snobroach and his cohorts ran away safely. Cooper won this battle, more or less. You received 7 EXP points. Yeah, I'm level 5. Cooper's trying to learn the interaction verb push. But Cooper already knows 4 interaction verbs. Cooper didn't learn push. <laughs> Fucking adventure games. Well, that was something. You're fucking right, it was. Yikes, this thing has definitely seen better times. Still better than nothing, I guess. What oh, a fucking dumb game. Right, that should do the trick. Off we go. Do we do we off we go? Use the exit tunnel? Hey, wouldn't it be more logical to press use stairs? I guess it would. Anyway, I'm not here to judge. It's a free demo after all. Yeah, see that? Give me a real challenge next time. <sighs> Little help here. Anybody there? Hello? You kidding me? I refuse to become the first main character defeated during a demo tutorial. Hello? Is somebody there? Pete's second foot shoes. That's funny. For a second, you heard some kind of rodent noises at the other side of this manhole, so we're a different character now. Should you worry about what's going on down there? Uh, yes, do something. <laughs> you decided to keep the animal on your thoughts as a sign of respect. Oh, boo! You decided to move on with your plan. 
apologies crossing the road I guess. Wrench. Johnny Jones 7 is not what? <coughs> Wrench, screwdriver, mysterious pass card, executive suit, Tommy's mask. Why do we not do the... There is no move, so... Surprisingly, your belt branch is not big enough to accommodate a manhole. Use the wrench. Okay, I need to take that apart. That was wrong. It's been with you since your first day at Paget Plumbing. Use a screwdriver with manhole. Usually screwdrivers work better with screws. I mean, but I've, there's a screw in man's pocket down there. You need to go get him. No, I guess we're going this way. Are we not? We'll get your voucher. Okay. Um, talk to go with cat ears. Hey there. Do you want a voucher? Yes. Yes, I do. I'll take a voucher. Oh, sweet. Here, take one already. I will. Well, that really helps. My boss won't let me leave until I've finished. Uh, oops, it is me again. I do. I want your cat ears now. Ah, I wish. But we're hosting a thematic premiere party inside. Long story short, we're obliged to wear animal costumes tonight to make my boss happy. Exclamation mark. Wait. Where the hell is your costume? Are you kidding? I'm not wearing that thing in public. Well, then just wait until your brother finds out. Ha ha, he's not even around, I'll be fine. Yeah, big bro. <laughs> Angry noises. No, no, don't. I was just taking a little break from them. Jesus. Uh, no, sir, it won't happen again. Yeah, I'll put them back right away. Sigh. Good. You never learn, do you? Shut up. Plink. plink. Shh. Quick, look. Up in that window. What's going on now? That's my boss, the oldest of Oli brother. His family owns and runs the place. <coughs> we don't know his secret yet, but he always seems to know everything we do and say. Cameras, maybe? Everyone quit after he took over. He's now using his own siblings as employees. But the weirdest thing is that the guy never leaves his office. How could he control everything from there? Again, cameras. He must be hiding something in the office if we could only... Wait, that's it. We need employees. If you go ask for a job, you'll be able to see what's inside. Here, take this with you. It'll help you get to him. Why do I care? It's a premier ticket for the party inside. You want these ears? Then find that his secret and they're all yours. Oh, but you should hurry up. The party must be almost over. You better fucking get on with it then. Right, use premier ticket with Dorman. What are you looking at? Wait, what the... How on earth did someone like you get one of these? Oh, I see. Hee hee. So, what are you waiting for, huh? Come on in. Isn't that what you wanted? No, it's not, but that's what's happening. I'm sure you won't forget this night. Christ, every fucking scream. Oh, hi, welcome to the Port Valley Theatre. Sadly, I'm afraid you're a little late. The party is already over. Good news, dear customers. The party has been extended. Indefinitely. Please have fun. Oh, well. If Big Bro says so, then please do have fun. This is some big fucking casino dick-swinging vibes, this music. Reminds me of the mask. Oh, well. If Big Bro says so, then please do have fun. Smile. Moving on. Um, look at the bin. Anything in there? It's empty. Fine. 
I want to be in the pictures. You're in the middle. I'm not in the middle, but I can be. How does man's get a job? I don't want to... Wait, hang on. Daddy would rather be watching TV. I thought I saw a fun thing there. Banana master. I'm also a master of the banana. Happy customer. Doesn't look very happy. Passed out. Square face. Super. Have I missed any other silly jokes? Obviously that's Scarface, but... Whatever. Get... There we go. So sorry, ma'am. The second floor is closed during the party. If you were going to the bathroom, you'll have to wait until it's available. Smile. <coughs> blah, 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 blah. More good news, dear customers. Is it upstairs is open? Yeah. For the first person to arrive at the stairs. That's me. Okay, are we ready? Three, two, one. Good luck. Balloon. Look at that, it seems we already have a winner. What luck. So this guy wants me to go upstairs then, clearly. Wow, you're lucky indeed. Big Bro never lets people go upstairs during parties. Let's have a saucy eye for whoever the fuck this is. Good farmer? Comedy about a kind Italian dad trying to get his family back together. His, his father. Oh, I see, yes, a TH, not a capital M in the middle of a word, which makes no sense. <coughs> get his family back together as a gift for his daughter's wedding. He always liked the sequel better. Lots of people did, I, I seem to recall. The Good Father Part 2. Bill Bill. <laughs> I don't get that joke, or that one. Is that a Fargo joke? I'm not sure. Why is there a f floor bar? Super. Cinema worker, bothered by any of this. Excuse me, that part of the floor is closed during the premiere party. I mean, I thought Hall of Upstairs was, to be honest. So, why is, th is that super closed, that part? You're looking for Big Bro's office, could I know why? Um properly request a job interview. Oh, really? That's great. We don't get many applicants lately. However, it's quite late now. Big Bro won't see anyone else unless it's an emergency. Why don't you come back tomorrow? I, I'll make sure he meets with you first thing in the morning. Now please. I'm waiting for that fucking thing to kick off again, but it's not happening. Into the bathroom door. Seems to be empty, but the door is locked tight. Knock again? Yes. What? What the hell do you want at these hours? I'm not buying anything. Get out of my property and leave my family in peace. What the fuck is happening here? Who is it, George? It's okay, go back to the table. Don't call this number again. What? What? What just happened? these sounds. Cake for everyone. This is just weird. Let your sister ride the pony, Timmy. We said one lap per person. One more of these. Ah, it's just the same one then. Can we skirt this? No, we can't. privacy please tell them not to start the meeting without me what? there's a meeting? Uh, can we talk to this chick about meeting? the job is to watch the bathrooms and prevent people from coming upstairs so big bro won't get me disturbed you're a special guest of course Damn right I am, let's move on. 
Uh. <coughs> Cheap excuse this time. Popcorn leak in Big Bro's office. I'm sorry, Mom, but I can't let you through unless there's a real issue. You're joking. Please send the plumber to my office as soon as she arrives. There's been a pretty serious popcorn leak. Fucking there's me trying to play it straight and the game's like, nah, do it stupid. Should have known. Should have known. Okay, if that's the case, I guess I can... Uh, I guess I, you can go on. Fine. Again, it's a demo. Can't hold it against him. Please keep straight and you won't miss his office. But let me first give you an advice. An advice. Just the one. If this is a trick, to get to talk to him, you should really think it twice. He knows everything that happens in here. If you're trying to outsmart him, you'll only get him mad. Very mad. Please, don't be naive and just back off while you still can. At least, you do have that chance. Anyway, have fun. Smile. Nope, I'm in it to win it. Let's investigate. Running. White door. Private door. Bin. Like looking at bins. It's an adventure game. Ah, oh, this one's empty too. Right, let's try this door first. <coughs> Use it. It's locked. With key. Sure, let's do this one then. It's locked, but there seem to be people inside talking. Choose to we knock on the door? Yes. You knocked on the door. The voice has suddenly stopped. Oh, if it's our mysterious visitor, could you please tell me what brought you to my cinema this late at night? Uh, the popcorn leg. I see, what a shame. Given your skills, I expected you to be someone a little more interesting to play with. Yet you're just as painfully boring as everyone else. Leave me alone, please. Huh, okay, let's try that again. Yep, real intentions. Job interview. Really, you basically broke into my business during a private party to ask for a job. That's impressive. It shows some admirable determination from you, young lady. Just precisely what we're lacking with our current staff. So, why don't you come in? Think you've earned that job interview? Yes. Aha, I didn't expect any less from you. Come in now, this shouldn't take long. Blip. Okay, this is going well. And haunting. The street is boring as always. Blip blink. Oh, welcome. Don't be shy. I don't really buy. Why is he on his own? I thought there were voices. He must be watching porn or something. Uh, my employees are just a little bit overreactive these days. I'm sure you heard stories of me spying on them and stuff like that, but don't listen to them. I'm just a cool boss who happens to know my workers and siblings that well. Is that really a crime? It really breaks my heart that they doubt me, but what can I do? They just won't listen. Anyway, that's not what we're here. Why we're here, is it? Okay, why don't you start by telling me a little about yourself? I wish I could. I don't know. I don't know. I've never played it before. Go on, think fast. What kind of hobbies do you have? Uh, music. Legit. Really? Jeez, I like music too. What are the odds? Okay, let's see. One more. Where do you see yourself in two years? Working here, working abroad. Uh, sitting on your chair. Nice. Ambition is everything in the local cinema business. Okay, here comes the last one. And it's an important one. It's worth double. Which Roman numeral am I thinking of? Uh, 69, dude. I don't know which one 69 is. Amazing, a perfect score. You nailed all of them. I don't think there's a way to fail that. Okay, the theoretical part of the interview is over. Time to put your practical skills to test. As my employee, you'll be asked to run errands for me on a daily basis, so let's see how well you handle one of them. Fill my mug with a glass of sloppy dancer and the job is yours. You're familiar with it, right? 
It's that orange drink that comes in the sophisticated round cocktail glass. Wait, maybe I'm making it too easy for you. Yeah, let's make it a little more interesting. If you take more than five minutes, my offer is gone. Oh no, I don't like this. I'm gonna fuck this up. Good luck. Why is there no save? Oh my god, the counter goes in the pause menu. There's no such thing as pause. Oh. I'm kidding, of course, I hate when games pull that crap. I mean, I was ready to go, but okay. Please take your time. Don't you touch it, just fill it. Oh, okay. Hmm. Right, we better go and find a bar then, haven't we? There we go with that music with this big dick swinging energy. See you again soon. Can we get the drink in there? Yeah. So go in. Yep, this is this is going well. Whatever. Go! Just notice the tone of the music changed there from uh, the different floor. That's a nice little effect. Free drink. That is an orange drink. Oi, Banana Master. Give it. Toxic. I was also coming for a free drink coupon, yes. Well, sorry, but I already gave them all away. Insist on the tickets. Bad luck, then. Be faster next time. Okay, let's do the other option. Yeah, yeah, don't tell me you can also come for the free drink coupon, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sorry, but I don't oh, fucking get on with it. Eat. IT. Oh my god, it's computers and shit flying through the pack. That's brilliant. Pretend the interest on the meeting. Really? Oh, that's magnificent. What do you say? Care to join us for a while? Yeah. That's what I call a clean, fearless spirit. Take your place in the audience and let's get rolling. Do you brothers often feel sad for no real reason? Like your own life was just gambling against your luck? I do. Sometimes. I, I guess. All the time! Would you like to know the secret behind the only diet that guarantees happiness? Is it bananas? Yeah. Keep talking. Wow. That really sounds sketchy. What are we even waiting for? Fucking Jesus. Can we get on with it? Now raise your hands and join our anti-bananas. Anti bananas Alright, yeah. It's crossed out. Come on. Don't be shy now. There's nothing to fear. Good choice, sister. Be welcome to your new home. Oh, no, no. I just have a question. Oh, okay. Is it... Is this is one of those things where we end up drinking antifreeze in your mum's garage? What? No, this is an anti-banana support group. Nah, same thing to me. She gonna leave. So anyone else? Yes. Can I have another drink? We're going to a party later and I'm kind of taking off the edge. Fine. I'll buy you one if you stay until the end. Oh, sweet. Anyone else all? Please? Me? Let's do it, Dad. He looks like that carpenter guy from church. Jesus. Forget about it. Just enjoy your drinks on the house and check our website for more info. Hurry up, Dad. The carpenter is leaving. Mum was right. You're weak. Don't doubt now, my son. Raise that hand with no fear. Yay. Yes. Welcome aboard with my children. Anyone else? Quite the bright decision. Susan. What? I'm bored. 
And what about you, my newest friend? Do you want to learn how to detox yourself from the Yellow Death? Hmm. I, no, no I don't. Hmm, well, it's up to you, I guess. Then leave us alone, please. But I need the drink. Good, okay, stand at ease. We're getting started. It's still going on. You had a question, my child? I need to go to the bathroom again. I think I left my drink coupe on there. See, I tried to get in and it wouldn't let me. Fine, we'll wait for you. We'll do it fast. Thanks, I'll be right back. That's a problem, that is. Did you know the bananas represent 70% of the total fruit choking incidents? Even though they're just 20% of fruits. I didn't know. That's outrageous. Right, fucking move it. What if I told you you could walk on those as well? And like half the time it takes. Get this thing out of here. Excuse her, sir. She likes to clean it after every use. Right, so it's in there then. I'm going to need to uh, use a wrench on that, thanks. Barely restrain yourself from smashing it with the wrench. Okay. What about using a screwdriver on it? Use a screwdriver to open the case in the machine. There's a lot of dust and hair stuck inside, and a free drink coupon. You humbly decide to only take the coupon. Excellent. Excellent. Could I have done this in five minutes? Not with the way that guy was talking, but who knows. The machine stopped moving. I'm surprised I was able to get away with that, to be honest, but it's fine. To the bar, Batman. See any drinks there? Is there a drink one over this way? No, it's just tickets. Presume to use it at the food one then. Oh, you have a free drink coupon. Okay, let's see what we have left for you. Usually, you'd be able to choose between a sloppy dancer or a dry bikini. However, we're out of strong drinks due to a couple of happy customers that have used our policy. Smile. Please accept this very special drink instead. Uh, it's the new Diet Lemon Zero from Port Port Volley. Port Volley? Made 100% using recycled lemon trees. Perfect. <laughs> Must be very popular. Our storeroom is full of them. Enjoy. How was I? It's like you were born to do this. Great. This is, this is no good. I'd like to swap out your drink. Waste for both. Ha, ah, trying to bribe me to get a coupon, aren't you? Shame on you. If you can't let go of materialism, you're better off gone of this community. If he doesn't want it, I do. Sigh. You've got a drink. Oh, it's a different drink. Well, what the fuck am I going to do then? Probably very famous people that you had never seen before. They're not even looking at you. Well, this is no bloody good. I'm assuming whatever I need to do is out here. She's got all the ideas, let's see what she can do. Any progress? Oh yeah, he loves that orange thing. 
don't worry too much. We sell it ourselves at the food stand. Yeah, but you haven't got any. Yes, I'll I'll have that. Hey, you stay away from it. I bought it just before my partner left and I've been trying to go grab a bite ever since. So yeah, I guess this thing's my dinner now. What if I were to give you a movie voucher? Nora. Hmm, what's that? You found lost property? Oh cool. I know a guy who knows a guy that can sell anything for you on the streets. <laughs> what the fuck? No questions, no names, totally safe. My cut is at 20% but come on, this deal with this economy? It's a bargain. So, what do you say, huh? Wanna make some money together? Well, it's your loss. Paper recycling. Just paper recycling, look at that. Portion, flammable paper and cardboard inside. Reasonable. Can we use it? We can. It's full of paper, cardboard, and thousands of movie vouchers. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. You fell proud of Port Valley's recycling concerns. Hey, you better be careful around that thing. With all this traffic, any little spark could easily end up getting in there. And trust me, I don't need any more ruckus tonight. But I want, I want that, because red and lemon <laughs> sneezy boy makes orange drink right what was that symbol that arrow symbol has started popping up everywhere after the port rail incident you've never known what it means we go to the park not now you still have things to do Pepe's pizza can we go in it looks shot People having a ruckus up there. What is happening here? What was that about? Can't seem to go in. Use? Seems to be closed. Yeah, figures. Alright, I'm guessing whatever we need to do must be in here. Oh, we were on such a roll! For ages, and now we're fucked. Um, use my ticket with the ticket seller? That seems a bit weird. No, no I don't actually. Okay, we don't sell tickets during the premier party, well, um, please come back tomorrow. Talk to the fan kid. Oh my god, dad, those are Austin Dean and Janice Hill. Are you taking pictures? Are you? Yes, Jimmy, yes. I don't get what's so great about this thing, but my kid seems to love it. Well, now I know to shut the hell up if I ever win cinema tickets on a yoghurt raffle again. Oh, those yoghurt raffles, they get you every time. Look, Dad, I'm totally next to Johnny Jones. I'm going to be the best diamond hunter of this parallel universe. English Jimmy. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. Right, knobheads. Our big bro, he must be at his office making sure everything is fine. He always likes to make sure that everything is under control. Who's the greatest cinema owner of this generation? Or his? Hmm, don't overdo it. Sorry. I mean, this is this is useless. We talk to the junior then. Uh, hello. I mean, hello. Please talk to my sister. I'm still in training and I'm only allowed to watch. Dirty. So nervous, I hope I can get the job, but I get so shaky thinking Big Bro may be watching. You'll be fine. He's got a lot of fucking family, this guy, hasn't he? I'm going to have to fucking join this guy's cult, aren't I? Don't 
Don't you dare patronise in our meeting with your attitude. <coughs> Leave right now. You'd only bring conflict to this peaceful community. Yeah, we don't want stupid misbelievers here. Get lost. Just leave for now. Right. Talk to the girl. Shh, he's telling us about that time he killed a bear in the sewers with his bare hands. No, he's not. Wow, I should slow it down or I'm going to start seeing funny lights on the posters again. Are you going to say the same thing, though? Yeah, yeah, you are. Right click is fast. Oh, bollocks, but it's also fucking engaged with fuckery again. Um, <clears throat> I, d I don't know. Such a special invitation. Oh, dude. What about if I give it to the kid? No. His dad. Don't get what's so great about it. Oh, I've got to press the wrong fucking button. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't really want to waste it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what do I just use the drink? What? Hang on. This is this is the drunk dude, right? Presumably the one they were talking about. You know, the abusing facilities guy. Just leave man holding an empty glass of an expensive-looking drink. Can we take it? Oh, it's time trying that. guy really made some good points but they won't let me join his meeting again. You already completed five consecutive meetings to abuse our free drink policy sir. No sloppy dancer, really something out of this world. Use diamond zero. Is this working? You poured the lemonade into the man's glass and quickly swapped it with yours. Oh, okay. That was, that was a lot easier. Lemonade and sloppy dancer glass. Right, but it's, it's still the wrong colour, isn't it? Oh, hold up, that's the door. Oosh! That was a big-ass crossfade. Uh, the, yeah, the, the, the doorbell went, it was the postman, and then the child got up, and then the wife got up, and then I had to go to the shop and buy some milk, and then I had to make a coffee, and the good news is that I've got some oat milk, so I've got one of me, the classic, Cherry coffees, the day can start now. Once uh, once I finish rolling this sticker, I'll just cross fade this out. See, wasting none of your time. Except for that bit where I lit it. Right, you now have the correct glass, but the colour is completely different to a real sloppy dancer. Which we figured anyway, which means, uh, hey, where's my. Uh, I see, it's okay. It's. Oh, uh, yeah, I need to sleep. It's got to be that ketchup. It's got to be. The question is, how do we do it? We just talk to her, her even. Talk to Nora. Are you lost or something? Look, I'm not in the mood for to uh, talking. My partner left me alone with this mess after that weird explosion. I've been trying to go grab a bite for hours, but everything is closed now. Also, I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to be doing this thing. A mysterious passcard. Do you want a mysterious passcard? Probably not a sharp move to hand a stolen. Oh, it's a stolen ID. Secret of organization to a police. What is going on in this game? I wonder if this will have voice acting. I feel like this kind of game probably won't, but I wish it would because I'm enjoying this. Uh, right. I'm assuming at some point we must have been wearing a, uh, an exact suit and a mask and using a car to get around some nefarious building. Fucking right, cricket's going nuts, dragon's going nuts, it's all popping off back here. Fucking behave. 
the lot of yous. Noisy bastards. I need that. Bottle of everyone's favourite hay ketchup. It's inside a bag of what must be a very cheap Asian food restaurant. Can I just straight up use the drink with it? Hey, you stay away from it. I bought you just put one, yeah, so the same bollocks you said before. I, I don't know what to do then. Which is frustrating, because again, we were making some really good progress and now we're just fucking not. Being said, I appear to have moved. You don't really have the time for this. The costume has to be ready as soon as possible. What? Alright, it's just giving us a cheeky little show of, of another place. So it's totally all located here. We're gonna have to get some food out of here. That's what we're gonna have to do. question is, how and from where? And also, that five minutes is 100% gone. <laughs> no one's got any fucking food. We look in the bin? Maybe there's some food in one of these bins. Empty. There was a bin over here. Hmm. Wait, there's a button here. Press it. Fucking right, press it. It wasn't a button. Ah, What was it then? I guess we'll never know. That's a fucking shame. I thought we'd, we'd well saw something then. Boo. You talk to this guy again? Get a banana? I want a banana. No. I was hoping that he might lead me to some nefarious bananas that he got rid of. Oh, Jesus. I'm assuming talking to these is going to yield the exact same conversation we had before. Yeah. spoken to everyone. How long can you take pictures, you know, in the same place of the same people? <sighs> How boring. I'm, I'm lost. I'm completely at a loss. <sighs> what the fuck can we do? Try her again. She's probably just going to say the same shit about the orange drank, but... Any pro no! He loves that. Oh, yeah. Don't worry too much. We sell that. So, yeah, I know, but... I mean, I could just try and fucking use it and he'd be like, nah, fam. <sighs> Struggling is the answer. No, no, I didn't find lost property. I assume anything that I try and use with it is going to be this lost property thing. Lost property. Oh, God. Is there like a, a pixels button somewhere?
lock and unlock inventory. So we, we can hang out all those things, that's, that's about it though. So a click does bring that up, and it just keeps you there. Okay, I guess that's, uh, it's, it's not that necessary, is it? <sighs> what are we gonna do, though? What are we gonna do? Can we look at any any of this shit again? Look at that. Perfect. Oh, this, this shit is going to hell now. I can't think of anything that we've not done at this point. But, and yet there must be something. Because otherwise, that's not how games work, is it? Please don't step on the happy customer. I'll be bro, he's working upstairs. Please don't bother him. No one wants to see him angry again. Oh god, it's so slow. Is there anything over to the left? Have we have we tried going left? It's a staff only door. There's another bin. Wait, there's a crumpled paper stuck on the side of the bin. Yes, fucking take. Please be a food voucher. Soggy and stinky coupon. That looks like food. Oh, stop it. Look at it. Wet and almost tore apart, but the code is still visible. Oh, whatever. Well, I mean, it's, it's our only shot. It looks like popcorn. Let's get it. Could you let me see this coupon for a second, Mom? Many dots. Sorry, Mom, this snack coupon seems to have expired a little while ago. A two-year while. Ugh, I haven't seen the bins in two years. Please take it back and throw it far away from this building. But why are you being so rude to her? Maybe she just made a mistake. Smile, guys. You're right. Please excuse my manners, Mom. We cannot redeem this coupon, but let us give you something as compensation for the trouble. They, they say this is going well. It's a box of Port Belly Cinema Famous Popcorn Nuggets. Popcorn Nuggets? That sounds weird. So someone left them in the bathroom and we were just about to throw them away. Uh, aren't you lucky? Yeah, yeah, totally. But I mean, yeah, because it's food and fuck me, we needed that. So let's get cracking. I'll tell you what, this has got to be the puzzle answer. It's got to be. survey said. What? Really? You bought that for me? Fucking yes I did. Man, I thought you were just a weird brat, but this is actually kind of nice. Well, I guess I owe you one now. Huh, they do smell kind of funny though. Just fucking take that shit now. Look, you can take some of it if you want to, but I'm not giving it to you. Right, use that with the ketchup then, yeah? Hey, what the hell are you? Ah, it's you. Damn it, okay, go on, take some if you really want to. But from now on, we're in peace. You proceed to fill the rest of the glass with ketchup. Which gives us... After a horrific sound effect, what appears to be an orange drink. The hazardous mixture required a vibrant orange colour. Wow, you, you really have some interesting tastes, huh? Jeez, and I complain about my issues. Right. I've clicked off the fucking game again. I thought the fucking screen wasn't going to come back then. We should probably actually take a look at this and make sure that this is going to work. I can't imagine why it wouldn't. I don't want to start looking around for orange flavouring, you know what I mean? 
glass of fake sloppy dancer. Yeah, it looks it looks like a real glass of sloppy dancer. The smell, however, is far from difficult to explain with words. Please don't make me. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to find anything that's orange smelling. I just I just I'm just convinced on that one. Please use the stairs. Thank you. And running! Fucking go in. see that first. Oh god. Nice. That's what I was talking about. Go on. I'm dying to try it. You see to fill the stinky mug with a glass of fake sloppy dancer. If it's stinky mug maybe you won't notice then. Unless it says sticky, in which case I'm a fool. You felt really proud of not looking away. Great, finally. Let's give it a try. Dies, falls out window. <laughs> Oh man, that tasted better than ever. You can really taste the great sophistication of the recipe. Well, the job is yours, of course. Let's seal the deal with a stretch of hand, shall we? We're gonna see his face? Huh? I can't really see your face. That'd be because the lights are off. We'll turn the lights on so we can greet each other properly. Fantastic. Hi, I'm Boston Volley, the oldest Volley sibling and the one in charge of this place. Feel free to take a look around and let me know if you have any questions about your position. Um, it just says, your diploma here. It's an abnormally big closet that seems to be locked tight. Possible is the proud winner of the 2019 Floral Decoration Contest. Litter, seat, flower. Wow, that really is an award winning looking flower. It's full of cigarette butts. One of them is still lit, slightly lit, but it won't be able to last for much longer. It's only when the sun shines the most that every shadow looks too dark. Right. If the sun seems to set, it only means you get to see the stars. These, these are facts, can't, can't lie. The flower pot is full of rusty... rusty batteries. Can we... take them? You're not quite the collector. What about the smoke? Can we take the smoke? Who are you talking to? What? Oh right, I pressed the... moron. Pick up. Well, there's nothing of interest here, apart from dozens of cigarette butts. Take the one with some smoke coming out of it. Shit. Stop that. What do you think you're doing? You should never resort to things like that. Look, if you're in need, I can always give you a bag full of old popcorn for half price. How does it sound? Am I not the best? Man, the youth these days don't have it easy, huh? Sure. The floor is full of a bizarre mixture of popcorn, dust and pieces of paper. Pick them up. That's my job. Guess not. It's suspiciously placed facing the closet in a really weird position. Anything wrong? Yeah, I think I just heard a knock on that. But nothing happened. Right, well let's have a chit chat. Oh, hi. If it's my favourite ploy again, tell me, what can I do for you tonight? Uh, tell them about work suspicions, ask about the employee's resignations, ask about the oddly placed chair. Start with the chair. Ah, it catched your eye, didn't it? It's a very exclusive catalogue model. It's placed there because I sometimes like to sit there to relax and, you know, clear my mind after a long day. But why so much interest in it, huh? Oh, I know exactly why. You want one yourself, you dirty copycat. It comes with Wi-Fi, NFC, Bluetooth, 17 gigabyte of RAM, but the cherry on top is... A 
fully dedicated massage module. It makes real miracles with the lumbar region. Lumbar. It's broken, isn't it? Okay, show's over. That is a remote control. Oh, don't you touch that. Don't you touch that, but I want to touch it. A very suspicious controller. It's going to be difficult to get closer if he's directly looking at you. How do I make him turn around then? Blah, 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 blah. Next question. Worker suspicions. Huh? They really think that way, don't they? Well, I don't blame them. Maybe I do care too much about them. Managing a business is not easy and I've been doing it single-handedly since our parents left. And look, I could just sell this place and some other volley would have taken care of my siblings. Or the council hall. You think I go hard on them? That I spy on them? Great, check my office if that makes you feel any better. N now that this is clear, is there anything else I can do for you? Resignations. Yeah, they didn't like my methods and left, so... I'm sorry, but I don't really see the issue here. Those are my rules. If they don't like them, they're better off gone. They can keep quitting for all I care. I have many siblings and they have no problems with my rules whatsoever. Look, I don't have time for this. Is there anything serious I can help you with? Uniform. That's a new one. Aha, done start already, huh? But you won't even need a uniform. You're going to be my very own personal assistant. Doesn't it sound just great? I like the way that the text like wobbles for like depending on the situation or who you're talking to. That's fun. Okay. Um, how do we fucking make this motherfucker turn around? You just try and mess with that again. Just trying to think what I can fuck with. What have I got that I can fuck, fuck, a t fuckety, t fuckety, fuckety things up with? Make, make fire. Don't particularly want to burn that. Try to reignite the smoke cigarette, but using the movie voucher as a fan. The cigarette butt turned off completely. The movie voucher immediately got in fire. In fire! Phew. Good thing video game characters can't feel pain. Right? Use the flaming voucher on the plant. Expect local flora and fauna too much to do that. Oh, that's a damn shame. Use it on that flower. You don't want to set that on fire. I want to set something on fire. set him on fire. Oh cool, thanks. What do you mean, you want it back? Then why give it to me in the first place? Go on, take it. It was useless crap to begin with. <laughs> I don't want to set anything on fire, apparently. I'm out of ideas. <gasps> I know what to do. They made a big show about that uh, dumpster thing being, like, you know, fire. It's right outside. He'll look outside. Right? Run, girl. Run. Run faster. Shut up, cricket bastards. Go 
go, 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 go. This music's exciting. I like it. Right, come on, immediately. You carefully put the flaming voucher inside the paper bin. The smoke is quickly growing inside the bin. Good thing vandalism regulations don't apply to adventure game puzzles. That's true. Have I clicked off the game again or did it break? I think I clicked off, it's okay. Yeah, we're fine. Whoa, what's going on there? Is that smoke? I should tell my siblings about this. You decided to move away from the lamest crime scene ever. Come on, get on with it. This is a chunky demo. Please evacuate immediately. The fire alarm has been activated and the safety of our clients is our only concern. Nope, not going fucking anywhere, pal. Nor is anyone else by the looks. Wait, it's not safe to go upstairs during a fire. The smoke always goes upwards. Oh, so it's the other way around. Then please go on. Yeah, that's definitely the way that works. These people are simple, and I like them that way. Please. Oh great, there you are. You should really come see this thing. Boy, I don't even know what happened down there, but it looks amazing. Oh, why are you cut in me? I want to do the thing with a control. Whoever did this has a serious talent for messing things up. I'd like to meet them. Watch this be the fucking end of the demo. Buy me a red bike like that one or I'll tell mum about tonight. What are you about red bike? What, what bike? That's a fire truck, you dickhead. Dude, for the last time, I don't care what your business here is. Where's your parking ticket? And where on earth have I put my sunglasses? I don't think I can skip this shit. It's, we're just fully locked in. Like, dialogue, I mean. I think you should lean anywhere else. Oh, good. Blah, blah, blah. There's a, a, a doggo. Hey, sweetie, pretend to talk to me until the police car leaves, will you? It's a fire truck. Oopsies. Ha, ha, ha. I must look like a rookie. Ha <laughs> ha, I swear I could keep watching for the whole night. Please do. It's not the end of the demo, but we can play with this. Excellent. Probably be too blatant to just take it from the floor and use it. Discreetly step on it instead? Yeah. Huh? What was the... I fucking told you it was cameras. Why no one listened to me at the start of the game? Well, look at that. Oopsies. It seems you got me. Yes, those morons are right. I'm always watching them. Always. That's how you run a successful business. I place cameras everywhere. The posters, vacuum cleaners, some, some usual clients, you name it. Anything to keep people like you away from my property. So tell me, what was the next part of your amazing plan after getting here, huh? Because you must have one, right? Otherwise, why would anyone want to be locked here with me? Uh, video games, my friend. I'm dying to see how you get out of this one. I'll probably walk out the door, to be honest. Hey, hey, where do you think you're going? We're talking, aren't we? Move aside. Let me help you refine your manners as a guest. What? This, yep. I mean, I could just step round that, I'm sure. And also, this, this is, this is upstairs. So is that in the, in, in between the floors? Is that in the ceiling? You know? Huh, I always wanted to try it. 
spending a literal fortune on squirrels and sweet ham to feed him though. I'm quite sure this is, shouldn't be physically, I know right? For many reasons. Okay, enough fooling around, come here at once. Ridiculous. <laughs> Look, I know who you are, okay? Ever since you set foot on my cinema. Not in, on. I mean, come on. You look just like her. She sent you here, didn't she? What? What's happening? A girl, a few words, huh? Fine with me. There's an easier way to do this. Empty your pockets now. You placed all your items on the table. Goodbye, stuff. Let's see who you really are. Boston took the mysterious pass card. Wait, this card. Th this is... But how? I've never seen you at the club or at the... Oh, wait a second. You took Wright's card? Haha, <laughs> man, that's amazing. You're bold, lady, I give you that. You must be up to something big, right? Can't you tell a bit? I'm dying of hype here. Maybe this is a hit on Wright. Oh, or you're trying to revenge your mother after the... Ah, shush, shush, shush. Don't tell me yet. I want to find out by myself. But how can I follow your progress from here? Is this where we get to the buy the full game when it comes out? Oh, of course, all the cameras. Yeah, that'll do it. Oh, come on, cheer up. I'm telling you, you're fun to watch and I want more. You're a lucky girl. You're a star. And from now on, you'll be performing just for me. Twisty boyo. Oh, and there, there's that. I guess that's it. Cool. When it's ready, of course, that, that classic trope. Anything? Just cut to that way, yep, just just end. Okay. Yeah, that was fun. I I would play more of that, I think. Uh, as usual, tell me your thoughts in the comments, and we'll see you next time, I guess. Uh, peace.